Alright, we got it installed. We're not wiped off yet or anything, but okay, we eliminated this from the exhaust. Run it into the catch cam. This will run with a 90 and go to here if I have any more issues. Uh, we could also tee off here and go back down to the exhaust. Basically what happens if you have any blow by it go in the exhaust and then it smoke. So now I gotta come in the catch can and eliminate that. I don't wanna do that anymore. See if we uh have any oil eating issues or anything like that. And any blow by will go into here and catch down into here. And you can twist the bottom down here, drain your oil, and put it back in the crankcase. Alright. A little bit of oil in each one of them covering the valves. See if they leak off overnight. You can actually see the home cross patch still in here. They're dirty, but you can see the cross hatch even through the dirt. This engine looks like it may have been rebuilt. If not, it's really taken care of. Find out by morning. Here's the carburetors. I've synchronized everything, they're ready to be cleaned. Uh, all the parts are taken out, all the gaskets are still there, we're going to get a rebuild jet and gasket kit for it, so that way all the rings and everything that are in it are all new. I got to separate the head from the jug, but that's that, let that set overnight. Damn, I got cut pretty good. Uh, Cam doesn't look like it's got much wear on to it. Uh, none of the rocker arms look wore out. Chain tensioner looks really good. Wheels on that. I have to put a new one in. One problem we did find. We have this top piston. See the ring moves? But it's actually, it's hard to see it, but right here, my thumb is, it's pinched in there. See it? It doesn't want to come out like this side. It's actually pinned in there. So that's a problem. So we had low compression on the cylinder. This one's all good. And this one's all good. This one, same story here again. It's set so long, you see the top piston ring compressed and the rust in the bottom one. See it? Okay, top piston ring still compressed. You can see the notch right here by the phone. Absolutely compressed. Notch. Back side. The second ring. Top ring. Rusted off. So what we're gonna do is get a piston and a ring kit. We'll put new pistons, and rings into it. I'm gonna crack. Casing, now that I see that, and we're gonna put four rod bearings in there. We'll put all my rod bearings, all my pistons, all my rings, head gasket, jug base gasket, we'll hone it, we'll put a 
K series cam in it. So this engine goes from 39 horsepower with the piston kit, that'll give it a domed piston. And with the cam, them two together with the carburetor kit, you're looking at 69 horsepower rather than 39 horsepower. So a 30 horsepower gain off about a hundred bucks worth of parts. And that's what we're gonna do.